Howdy. How's all my peeps out there in YouTube land? I'm pretty sure I hit the correct button this time around. Sorry for the confusion on the last video. I think I fixed everything now and got the right title on it so that <laughs> we're all on the same page. That's why I hate making up videos ahead of time. You know, if I can do it before I'm, I'm going to record it or whatever, that's one thing. But to try to set one up for several days ahead and all that, Lord have mercy. I'm easily confused as it is with this technology stuff. So you'll just have to bear with me. Uh, I'm doing the best I can with the technology. If I, it was just crafting, I'd do great. But <laughs> when we get into this technology thing, old people are easily confused. So with that, if you watched the last video, you saw me engraving on wood. Uh, I heard that uh, there were some folks that wanted to know what kind of an engraver I'm using. It is an SCM power engraver, a power carver. You can look it up on Google if you want to. That's S is in Sam, C is in Charlie, M is in Mary, power carver. And uh, you can look it up. And it's hooked to an air compressor. It's an air compressing carver. And it's the same thing as a dental drill. And so if it sounds like a dental drill when I turn it on, that's why. So I'm going to plug this in so that it can power back up here between the videos and me trying to straighten everything up on the YouTube. I had to shut her down there a little bit. Always wear eye protection when you're doing this. I also have a pair of high powered um, glasses, a little head thing here. I'll see, take it off and show it to you here under the camera. It's got these high powered lenses on it. It fits around my head, and that way I can see what I'm doing a little bit better when your old drives get weak and you want to see close up to what you're doing. So we're going to let this air compressor run here a minute and kick in, and I'll go to engraving on this piece of glass. This is just a piece of glass out of a picture frame, and... Uh, it's a good way to practice when you want to practice your engraving on glass. Just get you a piece of glass out of a picture frame. That's the cheapest way to do it. You can get picture frames on the cheap at any of the box stores and draw you out a design on them. You can put a, a picture of something underneath them and trace it if you want to. Um, on this one, I've been, been playing with it for a while. I've got some peacock feathers that I've done around the edges of it, just in various designs. And I put my initials in the middle of it. So uh, I'm just going to play around with this a little bit and engrave a little more on it. And you can watch what I'm doing here with it. This is the number two bit that I've put in the engraver. It's always a good idea if you put on a mask too, especially when you're working with glass. I can put a little bit of shadowing in on my lettering. There's all kinds of different bits and stuff that you can get for the engravers and for Dremel if you're using a Dremel. They have Dremel engraving tools as well. There's all kinds of different engravers on the market. Some of them are electric. Some of them are air compressor type like this one I've got. I like this power carver because you don't have to push it. You just let it ease along. Now, can you see that B is a lot more prominent there now? It's also helpful if you put a little water on your glass when you're engraving. And I'm just dry engraving here with this because I'm just practicing. But if you're working on a piece that you're going to Tell, you probably want to put a little water to the glass and it helps the engraver flow along a little smoother. 
on your teeth. Well, I got a few items that I'm probably going to engrave for Christmas. And like you get practice that good. I'm into so many crafts that it might be a while before I get back to one thing, you know. And so when I get ready to start that one back up, you need to practice a little bit. And make sure you still have your technique down. Remind yourself of all the stuff that you forgot. Since the last time you messed with it. So I'm just, I'm not pushing on that. I'm just guiding it along my line. And it's taking out the material. I'll leave this around here so that I can make sure which side's underneath the camera for where I'm carving. So you can see what I'm doing here. Here we got some peacock feathers. And go in there and grade them out a little bit deeper. Because all I did the first time around is just put the design down to it. Now I'm just deepening up them lines a little bit, widening them out. But I thought you might enjoy seeing me do something else besides paper crafting and painting and all that, because I do all kinds of stuff. Soon I'll be doing a series about different kinds of keg looms. Trying to get geared up for that. And while I'm fiddling around here with this, I will remind you that I have a challenge going on. Anybody that would like to get in on it, there's going to be a drawing for a Sure Bonder glue gun on the 11th of December. All you got to do to get in on that is send me a card. It doesn't have to be a Christmas card or holiday card or anything. It can be an all-occasion card, whatever, something comical, you know, what, whatever you want to do. But it needs to be handmade, something that you made and send it to me. My address is there in the description of the video. Make sure you put your name and address in there with it. And I'll put your name in the drawing. And I will draw on the live show. I do a live show every Monday night. You just happen to be tuning into this. There's a live show every Monday night with a live chat and all. And, uh, I'll be drawing there on that show for the Sure Bonder. This coming Monday, from me recording this, is going to be the 20th day of November. And I'm going to do a live auction with me and Brandy Lynn and Amanda Hogan and Melissa from San Diego Studio. Amanda is from Chroma Art or Chroma Storm Art. I always want to leave that storm out of there. Chroma Storm Art. And um, then we got uh, Brandy from Mixed Media Artistry. And each of us is going to put six items up on the show. On Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you'd like a chance to bid on some of our artwork and have some fun with us in the chat room, it's going to be a hoot. We'd love to have you join us.
There's all kinds of different biscuits we use on this stuff in order to put in the shadowing and get it fixed up the way we want it. But first, we got to get our lines in. Get it carved out the way we want it. I like to carve these peacock feathers because of all the tendrils that's in them. I used to raise peacocks when I lived on the farm. Beautiful, beautiful birds. Very majestic. There are some folks that don't like them because of the cry that they make, but mine were pretty quiet. Unless there's something come around to disturb them, they didn't make much noise. I kept them fed good and clean and kept the tin cleaned out and stuff, and they were pretty content. I made a nice aviary for them, and they had a nice perch to get up on. I've still got feathers, big jugs of feathers that I collected because they shed their feathers every year. There's all different colors of peacocks, too. Some people don't know that. I had the ones I call the India blue. It was the green and blue and gold color peacocks. They come in different colors. Beautiful feathers on them. Be sure and leave me some comments on this video. If you like what I'm doing, give it a thumbs up. And I'd appreciate it if you'd sub to the channel. I'm trying to build the channel up some. I'm trying to teach people a whole different kind of craft or a whole lot of different crafts that they can do. Mix it up a little bit. I do wood carving, and I do engraving, and I do paper craft, and I paint. Shabby sheep stuff. Sew, and knit, and crochet, and weave, and spin. Sculpt. I do marbleizing with, uh, with paint. I got a whole load of videos showing how to do all different kinds of things and experimenting with different things. So, if you want to go on a binge watch during the holidays, be sure and check out my channel. Maybe you'll learn some different crafts you hadn't thought about messing with.
cut that down a little bit because my bit's getting hot. I'll let the bit cool down here a second. Let me wipe some of the carbon off of it. It's starting to carbon on my, my glass a little bit there. Wipe that down just a touch. And we'll wipe off the blade a little bit. Get some carbon off. But I do like this engraving carving because it's like painting with a pencil. <laughs> All right. I think I got the carbon knocked off of it there. We'll give it another shot here. Yeah, that's better. Be sure you share the video around so other folks can enjoy watching me do this too. And comment. Leave me some comments on this on what you think about it. Blow the comment thing up. The more comments you stuff you leave, the better the rankings on the video. I want people to see these things that I do. That's the reason I've been doing it. If I wanted to just sit here and do this by myself, I wouldn't be recording it. So be sure you share it around. Put it on all your social media. Make sure that I keep this in the range of the camera. I've had a 
bad habit of not keeping things where the camera can see them. I did a couple of feathers for you. I think that shows you how it works. Went over those letters a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. But you see, see the black there? That's the carbon from the from the bit on the engraver, and that'll wipe right off. Get some water in here to wipe it down with. But about time to change my bit out. Bits do get dull. You have to have some bits on hand so that you can change them out. And there's all different sizes and shapes of bits, and they do different things. And you just practice and play with them and learn what does what and what works for you. There's all kinds of different videos on Facebook for you to check out and look at how other people do engraving as well. Um, so that way you, you learn what works for other folks. and What works for one may not work for another one. You just have to play with it and get what works right for you um, and keep going with it. But... You can engrave all kinds of things. You can engrave goblets. You can put people's initials on them. You can put little sayings on them. You can put uh, wildlife on them. Uh, you can learn to engrave on metal and, and uh, put the make make trophies. You know, put the little plaques on trophies and stuff, or engrave uh, the metal that goes on a plaque to hang on the wall for different occasions and stuff for people. Uh, you can make a real business out of the engraving. You can engrave jewelry and and all sorts of things. So this gives you an idea on, on what it's about. If you got more questions or want to see me do more, leave me some comments and let me know. Remember, Brenda's crafty. Be like Brenda.